in stage two, uh, we get sulfur trioxide, right? Sulfur trioxide. Uh, just now in stage one, stage one, we get sulfur dioxide. Eh? Sulfur dioxide, if you dissolve sulfur dioxide in water, you will get sulfurous acid. Okay, this is not what we want. It's a weak acid in, and it's not very useful. So this is not what we want, but it can cause acid rain. Eh? This one can cause acid rain. So you must know this, eh? okay? It can cause acid rain, but it's not very useful. Then in stage two, okay, this is in stage one. Eh? In stage two, you get sulfur trioxide. And if you dissolve sulfur trioxide in water, then you get sulfuric acid, H2SO4. So then that is what we want, right? Okay, so you see. So stage three, you can just add water to sulfur trioxide gas, okay? Then you get sulfur, this is a sulfuric acid, okay? But then if you see stage three, they say we dissolve sulfur trioxide in concentrated sulfuric acid to get oleum. Uh, just one O in here, okay? To get oleum. Why don't we do this directly? Just dissolve sulfur trioxide in water, then we get sulfuric acid. Then why we still want to dissolve sul this sulfur trioxide in concentrated sulfuric acid? Why we want to do this? The reason is this process, uh, you dissolve sulfur trioxide in water to produce sulfuric acid. Uh, this process, it will produce large amount of heat. Okay, if you're in form 5, then you should know that this is an exothermic reaction. Sir. Highly exothermic reactions. But if you're in form 4, you don't know what's exothermic reaction yet. So you just need to know that this process, it produced large amount of heat. And if it produced large amount of heat, it will increase the temperatures of this sulfuric acid. And it can even boil this sulfuric acid. The heat release uh, can even boil this sulfuric acid. Now let's say you produce sulfuric acid and then, and then this sulfuric acid is boiled, okay? It becomes vapor and this vapor, this vapor is highly corrosive, highly corrosive and it's very dangerous. Eh? It's very dangerous so it can escape, okay? It can escape from these containers and then it's, um, it's very hard to control this. It's very hard to control this. Eh? Uh, therefore, if you just produce small amount, uh, you can do this in your lab. Use large amount of water. Just dissolve small amount of sulfur trioxide, but use large amounts of water. Uh, then should be okay, okay? Because uh, then uh, the heat release uh, uh, will not boil the water. But in industry, we produce large amounts of sulfuric acid. Uh, okay, we cannot do this uh, because the it will boil the sulfuric acid and then uh, it make. Uh, it will produce this uh, vapors of sulfuric acid. It's very hard to uh, control. Okay, so therefore we do not do this. What we do is, okay, it's stated here. We dissolve this uh, sulfur trioxide into concentrated sulfuric acid. We dissolve it into concentrated sulfuric acid. Uh, sulfur trioxide plus concentrated sulfuric acid. And uh, the product is H2S2O7. And this is called oleum. Oleum. Uh, this one will, will produce a, a small amount of heat. Eh? When you when you do these experiments again, okay? or, or this uh, you carry out this uh, this chemical reaction, it will produce small amount of uh, heat. Eh? Okay, so that is stage three. Eh? Stage three, we dissolve sulf sulfur trioxide into concentrated sulfuric acid. Eh? Okay, can we dilute this sulfur this uh, sulfur trioxide into dilute? Okay, why we want to use concentrated? Okay, why not we use dilute? Okay, dilute means has large amount of water, right? Okay, then it's the same thing. Then you, you will dissolve the sulfur trioxide into the water as well. Dilute means you have large amount of water. So the sulfur trioxide will dissolve in water to get H two. And so forth, and produce large amount of heat. Then we have same problems. So therefore, we uh, we don't use uh, dilute sulfuric acid. We use concentrated. If you use concentrated, then this sulfur trioxide uh, cannot react with water. Okay, but it will only react with the sulfuric acid eh, to produce oleum. Okay. 
and then we reach stage four okay formations of sulfuric acid okay so we get oleum and then we dissolve this oleum in water okay h2s2o7 dissolve in water and we get sulfuric acid sulfuric acid eh? okay now just now in previous process uh, we use one sulfuric acid eh? one sulfuric acid but then uh, the product is we get two sulfuric acid so we use one sulfuric acid to produce oleum and then uh, oleum dissolve in water then we get two sulfuric acid eh? uh, that is the products that we want okay that's the products that we want so these are the four stages uh, in uh, contact process and you must remember all this process especially stage two uh, stage two is very very important you must remember the optimum conditions yeah? the optimum conditions uh. okay we have this question why sulfur trioxide is not dissolved in water to form sulfuric acid directly it, this is in stage three right stage three uh, stage three why don't we just dissolve sulfur trioxide directly in water the reason is uh, because the reaction is extremely exothermic eh? extremely exothermic exothermic is a reaction that uh, release heat eh? okay extremely exothermic means that it can release large amount of heat large amount of heat the heat will then boil the sulfuric acid forming tiny droplets of sulfuric acid which are very difficult to be removed so this is a reason eh? this is the reasons why uh, we want to produce oleum eh? in stage three if we do not write concentrated can we lose mark yes you must write concentrated sulfuric acid because in chemistry SBM chemistry you must be specific if it's concentrated then you must write concentrated if it's vanadium 5 oxide then you must write vanadium 5 oxide okay you cannot just write vanadium oxide concentrated sulfuric acid just say, if you just say uh, sulfuric acid then cannot it must be concentrated sulfuric acid eh? can I write SO3 has a low solubility in water no cannot actually SO3 has high solubility in water not low solubility eh? so it's not because of the solubility William asks for essay the answer can be right in point form yes you can write in whatever form to present your answer you can use table you can use point form okay so don't need to write real essay eh? okay like an article no okay you can write in point form